sapling of Moscow. Oh, Does the magic sapling of Moscow. Okay, we'll we shall correct this. The magic sapling of Moscow. Are you guys ready? Once upon a time in the very magical and very cold land of Moscow, there was a sapling that happened to be blue. Oh, and it had grown over four feet high. And when it grew to four feet high, it blossomed with ginormous orange flowers. Everyone knew that there had to be some special significance to the orange flowers, but no one could despise what it was. Blue was clearly because the sapling grew in such a cold, cold place. Orange, on the other hand, bespoke of fire. So the local blacksmith decided to throw it into his flames just to see what would happen. <laughs> and when he did, it exploded into fireworks. No one had ever seen fireworks before, so there was some confusion. They thought perhaps they had been attacked by an evil fairy. So they decided to get the magical springs of sage and wave them around in the air to ward away the fairies. And when they did, nothing happened. <laughs> because it's very, very difficult to hold on to springs of any sort. The water, it flows through your fingers. Springs. <clears throat> springs. Since the fire had obviously not worked in the blacksmith's kiln, they decided to find another use for it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so everyone took a bit of and since it seemed to explode, everyone took a bit of it and put it in their own fires, and it kept them warm through the snowy Moscow winter. And the moral of the story is Magical trees make for the best warmth in a cold Moscow winter. <laughs>